What's going on guys? My name is Triforce Addiction. Welcome back to another COD Mobile video. So I decided to do kind of like a last minute type of recap of what's going to be coming out for season five. So season five isn't really going to hold too much in terms of seasons. I know like usually in every season, there's always something that's crazy new. But this time around, it's not really going to be anything significant other than just a few changes to some weapons and you know just the new content that's coming out in general so the theme of season five is basically going to involve kind of like an underwater stealth type of theme it's really representing call of duty ghosts more than anything so let's just get into this real quick the battle pass is going to contain of course one main weapon which is the cr56 amax alongside the epic weapon at the very end of the tier list which is of course tier 50. we're also being presented with a couple of emotes and you know like some frames avatar pictures you know just basically all the stuff that you would normally get out of a battle pass we are getting four different characters we are getting rose foreshadow rourke manhunter otter backstroke and merrick so merrick was obviously for call of duty ghost he was one of the more key characters in that game we are also getting four different epic weapons other than just the cr56 amax we are getting the bk57 counter steel counter stealth unit sorry drh rebreather pp19 bison devilfish and of course the qxr close catch so like I said before, it's nothing really crazy, nothing really special. People are really more excited about the new assault rifle than anything in this battle pass. We are also being presented with two different maps, one called being Sudal Harbor. I think this is going to be more of a just a basic multiplayer map. You could probably play Domination, Team Deathmatch and just, you know, pretty much any normal mode on this map, which is pretty exciting because we haven't had one in quite a while. And we are also getting a ground war map called Anaya Incursion which was also for Modern Warfare. Also, I forgot to mention that we are also getting a 1v1 gunfight type map, which is called Docs, which is also for Modern Warfare. So yeah, there is quite a pattern of Modern Warfare maps in this update. We are also going to be given two different game modes for this season, which is of course the ground fight. I think that's what they, they call it, or I'm just gonna call it ground war. So basically, Anaya Incursion is going to be involved in this map. So basically it's gonna be kind of like how it was in Modern Warfare, where it's like a huge domination type thing, where you have to, you have to capture like five different objectives instead of three. So yeah, it's gonna be quite the chaos, but let's just see how it goes once we make it to that point. The other new mode that we're getting is Hardcore Kill Confirmed with a mix of Cranked. So basically it's gonna work the same way as Cranked, but in a hardcore type of feel. So basically everyone's gonna have a low amount of health, meaning that they're gonna die in one or two bullets. And the thing is that now also you could actually save yourself by getting dog tags and that could help you refresh your time to stay alive a little longer it will pretty much give you enough time to get another kill so you can just keep refreshing the timer it's basically how cranked would normally work also later down the line we are going to be getting the second weapon of the season which is the 725 shotgun so i'm pretty confused even as of right now as to what type of weapon this is going to be i don't know if it's going to be the same way as it was in modern warfare where you shoot twice and you have to reload because in the patch notes it says it's a pump shotgun so i don't i don't know what's going on there but from what i know it's going to have like really like intense close range damage but i'm still gonna wait and see how far this thing could actually reach in terms of one shot kill potential and finally here's a quick look of what's being buffed what's being nerfed as well as what's being added so we are getting some sort of new type of specialist ability for battle royale allowing you to glitch back five seconds uh you're also getting a new perk called gung ho which allows you to run while uh, sp I mean, it allows you to, to pretty much shoot while sprinting. Um, there's the 725 shotgun, CR56 Amax. So the buffs and the nerfs are probably one of the most important parts of the season because the PP19 Bison that has been spammed for so long already in this game is finally getting its nerf as well as the QXR. So mainly the nerfs lie within the enhanced bolt for the QXR. So you're not going to get the same type of damage multipliers unless you have unless you take it off also overall they're reducing the ranges for the bison as well as the qxr it doesn't matter if you have enhanced bolt or not also i forgot to mention that there will be a vertical recoil penalty for using the enhanced bolt so you're probably going to have to learn how to control it a little bit better uh, this upcoming season. The changes for the other weapons in terms of buffs, the AGR is going to have a massive buff when it comes to 
the marksman barrel and the extended light barrel meaning that you could be a little bit faster with it the asm 10 i feel like it's going to be the same way it's getting a range buff as well as just a mobility buff and i think that's pretty much it if i'm if i'm not wrong so i was wrong after all so i went back to check uh the locust is also getting changed in terms of the skeleton stock meaning that you're going to be able to aim in a little bit quicker which kind of worries me because i don't know how much faster it's going to be hoping it's not going to be like crazy fast to the point where it's overpowered once more so yeah that's one worry that i have but we're gonna have to wait and see anyway that's pretty much everything that's coming in season five i hope you guys are excited because i am uh, i'm ready for a new chapter in this game hopefully it's not gonna be that crazy we still have yet to see what the uh legendaries are going to look like so yeah we're gonna have to kind of wait a little bit longer for those but don't worry i'll probably have a video up later on discussing all those when it does come out um from what i heard the update for season five is supposed to come out later on today i'm not really sure i don't know if it's coming out like you know tomorrow on monday but typically the way it works is that tomorrow is basically like 7 p.m for us so basically whenever it turns 7 p.m it's pretty much the next day for Call of Duty Mobile, at least in my time zone. Of course, it works differently for other people. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a like. Make sure to subscribe for some more Call of Mobile content. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.